several people on my channel recommended I watch Blood Red Sky on Netflix. First off, that's a terrible title. It's very generic. I, it's hard to remember. Blood Red Sky. Uh, what does that even mean? After watching the movie, I, I figured it out. Secondly, people recommended me watch things on YouTube is a very dangerous game. I have no idea how to take it. It could either be because the movie's so brutally bad and they want to hear me just complain about it for, you know, 10, 15 minutes, or it's actually legitimately good. Actually, legitimately. That's a, that's a good use of a sentence there. And since it's Netflix, I was thinking it was going to be the former. I was also told not to watch any trailers for this movie, so I didn't. I went in raw dog. And I have to say, I liked it. Quick note right out of the gates. This is a foreign film, kind of. It's in subtitles the whole time, but they speak English 85% of the time, it's very weird. You have all these options and the default is, um, I believe it's German with English subtitles, or you can go to English, but it's dubbed really badly. Why did they dub over English speaking parts is what I don't understand. It was very weird. We spent like five minutes jumping between the toggles, not really understanding what was going on. Why English was being translated as English. I, I just, I, I don't know. I had to move past it. Movie is about two hours long. That time I think was appropriate. It could have been trimmed down a little bit, but I'm not complaining really. And the movie is a bit of a slow burn for the first, I'd say, half hour. You're not really sure where things are going. But once it flips the script, all bets are off and, and, and the thing is a ton of fun. The visuals are really cool. Even when they do this kind of fakey outside camera shot of the plane as it's going through the sky, it has a surreal vibe to it that I think adds to the overall tone of the movie. I really enjoy films and stories in general where they they take one central concept and then they throw something else right into it. It, it. I know I'm being very vague, but again, I'm trying to, I'm trying to not spoil anything. And I don't even know how many clips I'll show of, of the, the trailer even. In fact, I'm going to shut up already about it. Uh, the bottom line is everything kind of worked for me in this. It's not a, it's not a perfect movie by any means, but it did entertain the hell out of me. I could watch it again and enjoy it for different reasons. And I do recommend you check it out on Netflix if, if that sounds like your cup of tea. I know I, again, I know I didn't say much, but whatever. I'm going to give The Hunt for Blood Red October 12 out of 15 bloody red martinis. The, the, these scores are nonsense. All right, I'm heading into spoiler territory now. So if you don't want this movie ruined and you think you're going to watch it, you can, you can walk away from this video. If you don't care about spoilers, you, you can stick around. That's fine. And if you've seen the movie, then you really want to know what I thought. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to break it down a little bit. I really enjoyed the twist that this woman was a vampire. I knew something was wrong with her, obviously right away. She was acting very sus. She had the shades on and the wig. She's got her kid buying the passports and doing the whole thing for her or checking in, I guess, not buying the passports, just, just checking into the flight. Why? I don't, I don't know how to talk. I apologize. I don't know how to talk. I thought maybe she was a spy undercover. I thought maybe she had, you know, cancer because she's talking to the doctor. She doesn't have any hair. Uh, it, nothing was really adding up until she gets on the flight. And I see her like injecting shit into her chest and she's having these weird reactions to things. And I thought, okay, we got something supernatural. Did we, did she get abducted by aliens? Is it an alien thing? Cause that would be cool. We do get a, a flashback that they go back to a few times in the film where they're, you know, she and her husband and kid are driving in like a winter storm and the car breaks down and the husband goes for help. I, I instantly thought, okay, did the guy just, like straight up ditch his family. He's like, I'm out. I'm done with them. Is she going to get abducted by aliens out here? Because that would be awesome. And I still stand by that would be really cool if aliens fucked with her and messed up her, her blood because she has, we, we, we find out she has bad blood, Taylor Swift style. And then they just drop her back down. Really brave, by the way, that she follows this massive, uh, you know, track of blood, this trail of blood down into a, a creepy basement. I, I'm not sure I'd have the balls to do that, but props to her. Finds her, her husband just eviscerated and sees a vampiric creature through a window. As she goes to push him away, he gets fried by the sun and dies. But not before he bites her, which causes her to have the vampiric gene. So this is like a secondary layer on top of the main plot, which is she's on a flight to go see a doctor who's going to replace her blood and hopefully get the you know, vampire out of her. But the flight itself is hijacked by terrorists who are pretending to be like an Islamic terrorist group, but they're just a bunch of assholes that are, you know, 
uh, sowing discord and they're being paid by, you know, some private investor to do this. Things go to shit really quickly as they find out, oh my god, there's a vampire on the plane. I also love the dude who's kind of like a Joker character. He's a wild card. He's just straight up killing people if they're out of line. He doesn't give a shit. And of course, this guy sees a woman like that and he thinks, you know what, I'd like that. I'd like the blade ability. I'd like the ability to, to drain people of their life and, and have cool powers of such a super strength and you know, whatnot. So he's all in. He gets some of her blood, injects it into himself. And uh, as he's in a car at one point, she, she finds a way to burn him alive. And I was thinking, this is awesome, but also, Damn, I really wanted to see this dude rampage through the plane because he's scary. Unhinged people are scary as shit. Like, that's fear to me when, when people are just so out of their gourd that they're, they have no consequence, no empathy for others, and they'll do anything and everything. Thankfully, the film knew this, and they found a way for him to get out of the situation, and that's exactly what happens. He causes, he terrorizes this plane. I don't know if people recommended this movie because they thought I would absolutely hate it, or if they did think I would like it, but thank you for the recommendation. I, I, I don't, maybe you're disappointed that I liked it and you wanted to hear me complain about it, but I, I ate it up. I thought it was good stuff. And a very special shout out to the kid in this movie who's the, who's the uh, main protagonist. Uh, her mom's the vampire. He is fucking great in this movie. The acting's on point. He's not afraid to get into the fray. He's not afraid to uh, cause some chaos when he can. And he really cares about his mother. Holy shit, this kid's all in. And we see why he's not so afraid because he had an incredibly traumatic upbringing. You know, you have a mom as a vampire. This isn't... This isn't Twilight shit, okay? These vampires aren't pretty and sparkly. This is like the gross crap. This is like Blade 2 underground vampire stuff. The movie thankfully has a very satisfying ending too. A lot of times this can go any way, you know, because this is kind of an out there movie. It could have had an artsy ending. It could have had a cliffhanger ending. It could have had a, a dark disturbing ending, which since this movie was so down, throughout the film, since there was so much you know, carnage and, and depressing moments, uh, this kid needed a win. And thankfully he gets one, and I mean, as much as you know, a win that he could get, I guess. Uh, again, I recommend it if, if you like movies that are a little, little kooky, a little, little off the, the beaten path. Thanks again for watching the video. If you really enjoy what I'm doing, maybe think about becoming a Patreon over at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. I even have a, a dollar tier, you know, and you get access to an exclusive show over there. Um, you can join me right here on YouTube with the join button as well. I think that, that membership starts at $4.99. The little gesture goes a long way and I would really appreciate it. I'm putting in the work for you. I'm putting out four, sometimes five videos in seven days uh, because I care. And because uh, because I enjoy entertaining and I want to keep you entertained. All right, thank you.